What is going on, Vaughn people? We are here with the, uh, I guess, tentative tentative finale of uh, KH2 Foot Percent. Putting my controller on the ground as I speak. Omasorba just learned that the original spelling for Aerith in the OG FF7 is Eris. That caused quite a controversy back in the, uh, I guess back when they, you know, relocalized it to be Aerith. But uh, there are still people out there who call her Ares or Eris. Um, why am I just consistently spinning? I'm not touching it with my hands nor feet. Um, what the fuck is going on? Alright, enough of that. What the hell? Something about, like, standing... What the fuck? Is it always like this? Um, no. KH2 on console, I cannot just turn the music down. There's actually no option to do that whatsoever. Um, so, I would like someone else to go into their KH2 and see if, like, standing at the save point in this spot makes the camera turn uh, on its own? It just doesn't know where to go? Right? Is it... Or is, it, is my controller fucked? No. Is my controller... I think my controller's fucked. Oh no. Oh god. Uh... Are we good? Okay, so it wasn't the game, it was the controller. <laughs> I think I might have for a bit there, but I, I kind of like jostled the sticks and I think it's okay now. Um, any chance you do another platinum run after foot percent, maybe recom? Um, yeah, I think I could do another platinum run. That could be fun. To be honest, folks, I need to come up with like a sub goal. Um, I'll be I like to be transparent with with the viewers. I'm a little below what I'm comfortable with being uh, in terms of my Twitch number. Uh, for the month, so I'm trying to figure out, like, something that we could work towards as, like, a fun little thing for us to do. Um, ultimate, ultimate board, we could return to the command board, but it will guaranteed be a six-hour plus stream. Um, also, sorry, uh, it's, uh, it's Kitsu Bug. Thank you for the follow as we were getting ready for, uh, switching over to this, uh, KH2 here. Um, oh, yes! I, I have stuff to show. Sorry. And then we'll do Kazoo, and then we'll fight Lane Greenwell, I promise. Um, okay, so... This is kind of like, I'm sorry that I'm showing these off because it's going to be very limited supply. Um, I'm giving preference to my top tier patrons for these. But David Russell, uh, a couple of months ago, reached out to me and said, Hey, what would it take for you to like look into having some Platinum Presto high quality pins made? And I said, what would it take? Probably for somebody to handle all of it for me. Um, he said, got it, cool. And David, being the guy that he is, went ahead and did that. Um, never talked to me about it for the, you know, the following months. And then I got a package at my door uh, a couple days ago, yesterday I believe, and it was 41 Platinum Presto pins. He's in plastic. I don't want to unwrap them because I will be sending these out to my top tier patrons. It's a first come first serve thing right now. Um, and Dan Bob, thank you for the 23 months. Um, so here's the thing with the pins, is that, uh, if it seems like more people want them, I can have more made. And I don't know if I would want to sell them, but I think I could make them like, hey, if you join Patreon, here's an extra little thing that you get, I'll send it out to you. Um, so maybe that's an idea. Because I don't know if I... I just feel very uncomfortable selling things with, like, the Heartless logo on it, for example. But it's like, hey, if they were made, and I'm just, hey, this is a little thing that you get as an added bonus. You know, obviously it's not worth, like, you know, if you're at the top tier, it's, it's a $20 a month thing, which is extremely, insanely generous, you know? Um, and those are, you know, my, my core of, that's my core of support. So obviously these pens are not worth $20, let alone $20 a month, but like, you know, those are the people that are backing me in, in the most substantial way, so I think they deserve to, to get these for free. Um, so that's the only thing. Um, is that I only have so many, and most of them have already been snatched up, snatched up by um, top tier patrons. But I would be interested in looking into having more made and getting them to more people um, as like an incentive thing. Um, so that's all. Anyway, um, what else? Oh, and then Violet and Verse, good friend of mine, member of the March Capri staff. I've known known her for probably as long as I've known the rest of the crew. Probably since. Uh, late 2020, early 2021, um, made me, a long time ago, it just now got to me because there were other meetups, uh, a Presto Wayfinder. I love it. 
Uh, I love it so much. Uh, she doesn't really stream on Twitch, I don't think, so there's really no shout-out to do. But Violet Unversed on Twitter, um, she's a uh, cosplay extraordinaire. Um, yeah, she made a bunch of these for members of, like, my inner, you know, Requiem circle. Um, and this this has existed for a while, but uh, I've not been to any meetups where they were exchanged. So she got this to David, David got this to me. Um, it's got all the Presto colors there. Beautiful stuff. Love it so much. Um, so there you go. That's uh, this this week in regular pack, unofficial merch. Um, and I had to play a Kazoo song. Uh, Kazoo was redeemed. This one goes out to... Uh, who is it? This one goes out to Brian. Let's draw my card. Okay, I got two options here. I do know both of them. Um, which one should I do? Let's go for the hard one. Um, get my kazoo. We'll pause this so I can really take center stage here. There you go. That is Violet's Twitter if you want to check out her cosplay. K2 speedrun stream. Ooh, that could be interesting. Just like go in and try to do a K2 speedrun with no training. I kind of like that sci-fi Virgo. I like that. Um, yeah, we'll think about that. All right. Um, <clears throat> how does it start? Yeah, okay. Sweet child of mine, there you go. I, I realized as I was doing it, I was like, wait, I'm like totally sequence breaking the song right now. I like started with the first verse and then like went into the chorus way too quickly. Um, and I was like having a lot of trouble remembering like how those notes went. Um, sweet child of mine. Yeah, I think the next one, I can also do the one on this card. So I'll leave this card here if it gets uh, redeemed again. Um, also, Daisy, thank you for gifting a sub to Sapphire. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I think we'll, uh, maybe for next stream I will have... Actually, I don't even know what we're doing on Thursday. Um, if this is our last Cage 2 foot percent stream. So not only do I need, like, a sub-goal stream, but I need, like, whatever we're just doing as our basic stream on Thursdays. And then, in terms of Saturday, I don't know if, uh, if I'm seeing regular GF this weekend yet. We still have to plan. Um, but... I have to put this on the ground. Um... So either Sonic Heroes is going to be Saturday at 4 or Monday at 6. If it's not Saturday at 4, it will be Monday at 6. Um, Alright, let's go to the faded place, the promised land. Um, we did try to see the promised land with Sephiroth, but only we only got to see his meteor. DDD Nuzlocke? Ooh. Name Dream Eaters after chat members. If they die, I can't make another unless I get gifted X subs. If I ever turn out, run on Dream Eaters, I just reset the save. That could be kind of fun. I think to make that interesting... So wait, it's if I die, though. Not if the Dream Eaters die, right? See, if the, the Dream Eaters are so easy to save, and it's so rare that I, I feel like they're even in jeopardy, that I don't think it would be interesting. It would have to be if I die, I lose, like, the Dream Eater equipped in the top left slot or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, the structure for future blockets. Um, what was yours that you submitted, Runemancer? Um, I don't have you listed on the... If it's the Disney Mania one, I do have that listed as a double feature one. Um, so that's not for any particular scheduled day. Um, but I can, you know, try to make sure that we don't run that unless you're here on that day that we do it. What's up, Emily? Um, the whole rundown so far, um, official Kingdom Hearts trivia by Aid, that is on Thursday. That is actually trivia pulled from the Union Cross trivia event, so it's actually questions written by Square themselves. Um, and then it is Disney Trivia Part 3 by Ace Productions. Um, that'll be all just general Disney trivia. Week from today is Cage Cutscene Name or Taylor Swift Song by, uh, who could that be? And then KH Removed Worlds Trivia by Mega Turtle, and then Disney Character or Not, uh, but also by Ace Productions. That's the uh, the bulk of what I've got scheduled so far. Um, everything else is sort of amorphous. Um, all right, let's go try this. I guess 
Um, theory crafting, my own cage, uh, my own dream cage game. That could be fun. Um, I think I'm inclined. I like the idea of the cage two speed run um, with no prior training. I like the idea of a dream drop nuzlocke, which could be like, hey, commemorate the dream drop world ranking, which I am getting closer to being done with the script for that. Um, I do think it's like a good script is the good news. I don't think I'm phoning it in, even though it's a game that I'm not as passionate about. Like, I find that when I'm writing these things, 80% of the workload there is sitting there and thinking about it. Um, like, I'll literally just sit at the screen and think about what this means, like, as a gameplay mechanic or as an aesthetic choice or yada yada. Um, so I find when I really let myself just think about things and don't just rush in and word vomit, um, I tend to be more pleased with the script, if you could believe it. Okay. Right, so I've got no fucking chance. Um... <sighs> okay, so it's 6.53. <laughs> I was paid a lot of money to give this an honest attempt. <laughs> when should you expect the new vid? Um, I would think... Let me think about if I just know my editing process. Because I have a little bit of the script left to go. Um, if I get the script done by Friday, then I could see it coming out by next Friday. I think May 10th... I would love for it to come out earlier than May 10th. That'll be, like, my, my goal. Um... I know there was no video in April, and I, I apologize for that. Um, if you've been keeping up with me, you know that I was away for a week, and then I was kind of in a bit of a rut after my dog. Um, but I've definitely been more productive this week. Cool. Um, Awesome. I, I'm way behind on regular rambles as well. I owe the patrons like two extra questions at least. What's tomorrow? Yeah, Wednesday is my usual regular rambles day, and I just don't think I should. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good idea to take time out of the process to do that, so I might have to wait another week still. Um, so here's the question Can I get a hit on this guy? Maybe it should be a drinking stream, although I woke up at 5 p.m., so my kind of rule that I give myself is that you can have uh, either a degenerate sleep schedule or drink on stream. You can't have both. So if I'm ever drinking on stream, that means I'm on a fairly normal sleep schedule. Um, I will get 100 bits if I get a hit? Okay. All right. Well, I'll do, I'll do that for a dollar, to quote Eric Stein. Also, where's my glasses, so I don't have to... Oh god, did I... No, they're right here. Ah. <clears throat> okay, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of an ultra ramble. Um... My problem with the rambles, though, is that people keep submitting, like, rank all of this thing, and there's 90 of these things. Which, like, I like those, but I can't do that for every question, otherwise it will literally be, like, several hours long. I need more questions that we can answer in under five minutes. Okay, Donald got a hit. Does that count? <laughs> um, no, Eric Stein from Big Brother 8. Um, one of the best to never win. Oh, wait. I hope regular GF doesn't watch this VOD because we're watching Big Brother 8 right now. Um, and Eric's still in the game. So, <laughs> Spoilers for Big Brother 8 from 2007, I believe. Uh, maybe the prediction should be how many hits I land on him. I don't mind that. What is the prediction right now? Is it, will Pat beat Lingering Will? Because that's dumb. <laughs> uh, Duck Flare? Okay, yeah, like, feed me strategies. Okay. Some commands have been locked. Wow, that'll just kill you in one hit. Alright. Well... I guess we should come up with, like, some... Maybe some games we can play with each other. Um, 
hat with the glasses and the headphones kind of looks like Tucker, Danny Phantom's friend. <laughs> I think literally we both just have glasses. <laughs> this is worse than Oscar Kakashka because at least with Oscar Kakashka, there's like, that's very funny. <laughs> with Tucker from Danny Phantom, it's like, I think we both just have glasses. <laughs> Does he even wear headphones <laughs> in his model? It is. Let me see. Tucker Foley. Uh, he doesn't even have headphones. <laughs> he has a backwards hat and glasses and a backpack. <laughs> yeah, what other Nicktoons do I totally not look like? Yeah, I'm also. Yeah, I guess that's. I guess that's also one of the the main factors is that I am white. But look at you though. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't even have the facial. Yeah, Tucker. T Tucker has no facial hair on account of him being 14. Oh jeez. He uh, Tucker wears a backwards hat. I'm I'm fully uh, willing to uh, analyze that aspect of his character. I I kind of looked like Rocks away from Survivor 42 when he's wearing his cataract glasses. Uh, Rocks Roy, also a black man <laughs> from uh, Survivor. Yeah. I look just like Timmy Turner! Is it because of my teeth? Is it because of my big fake teeth? I mean, Timmy's got real uh, big teeth. Mine are fake big teeth. Um, Alright, still have yet to get a hit on Lingering Will. Alright, we got the, the guard, though. See, the problem is that you- Oh! 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 Give me those fucking bits, damn Bob! <laughs> look at the damage I'm doing. <laughs> look at my fucking damage. Not only was that a hit, that's like two and a half combos. That's like three combos. So I think you're up to like, it's probably like more like a thousand bits. No thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Tampa. Can I get further than that? Can I get four combos? Can I get five combos? Is this quish? Favorite and least favorite cage fan theory? Oh boy, that'd get me in trouble, I bet. Let me think about that, because there's so many that I don't like. Um, I mean, I don't really keep up genuinely with like, like theories, you know. Um, I, I I just feel like if I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna get me in trouble. So I don't think I want to answer the least favorite. What's my most favorite? Um, oh, my most favorite. I mean, you can kind of read between the lines <laughs> if uh, if you know that I'm not willing to fully talk about my least favorite. Um. But whatever. It's not like it's not, who cares. It's not like a character statement that I don't like a theory. I, I don't I don't think the sleeping realm theory is that compelling. I I don't. I mean, it's like interesting to think about, but like, do I find it like if we're judging a theory by like how valid I think it is, or not how valid, but like how likely I think it is that it comes to fruition in any meaningful way, then I, I don't think that one's a very good one. Um, but if we're talking about like, hey, interesting to talk about, then I think it's fine. You know. Um, did I say Sleeping World? I meant Sleeping Realm. Um, like, the big one that was really big, like, five years ago or whatever. Um, yeah. But it, some people are very... Because people, like... <laughs> I don't know. I've not read the full document. I've just seen other people discuss it and taken part in those discussions. I feel like people, like, layer their, their ship, their ship wants into it uh, as part of their justification. Um, and that's why it's like, I get hesitant to talk about it, because I know people are very passionate about the shipping. Um... What are we doing here? <clears throat> what are we doing? Um... So... I couldn't even begin, Fruitune. I, I don't have enough time or money in the world to, uh, explain it fully. There's, like, something about, like, if you look at, like, the... The bevel on the logo or like the drop shadow or something it's, it's crazy I, I don't think that's true <clears throat> like here's the thing i'm a cage three defender right i i think cage three does more good than bad but i feel and again i'm i i feel like i'm speaking out of turn because i haven't again read the whole thing but i feel like the vibe that i get is like we're gonna we're gonna excuse the less than stellar choices cage three makes by saying that it was all planned and like the way characters are acting the way they are or saying the things they say is because this is like a facade that like what we saw in kh3 is not like the real version of events like i think it's just occam's razor would probably dictate that no 
there were just some writing choices that you didn't love, and that it's not like perfect in that in the writing department. Um, I don't know. Again, I don't don't kill me for this. I I don't I don't actually care that much. It's just like just not willing to I'm not willing to engage that deeply with it so my favorite theory um I mean less so of a theory but more so like I love PJ's idea of is this what are we doing here with this <laughs> you know like what are we doing I can't beat him so like we're just gonna sit here and I mean I <laughs> I don't know I got paid I, I really I can't not do it is a thing. I, I gotta, I gotta do it. But I think we, we need to add something to this whole adventure to make this not mind numbing. Um. Anyway, favorite theory. Like, I like PJ's idea of the um, live action Maleficent meeting the traditional animated Maleficent. Um, I think that's really cool. I like the idea that they're setting her up for that. That's why she has nothing in KH three because they're waiting to get the uh, the rights to use. The live action Angelina Jolie movie. Oh. Um, yeah, maybe get some subway servers, maybe some slime videos, uh, family guy clips, something else on the screen. So, this is the payer's fetish, yeah. You could say, I mean, it's not not a foot fetish when you think about it. It's like, I'm gonna pay. Pay Pat to use his feet to fight the lingering will. It's like, well, not not a foot fetish, and that kills you in one shot. And I have my air in, by the way. I, I broke the seal on air conditioning. I really wanted to wait until at least like mid-May, but second to last day of April is when it got put in. Uh, because I thought about, I was like, oh wait, next week is going to be cooler. I can I can wait. But then I realized, oh, I have to fight the lingering will with my feet tomorrow, and I'm not going to be able to do that with a box fan and a ceiling fan. I'll want to die. So at least now I'm in, like, a nice temperate environment. Um, is there any canon reason, uh, any lore reason why the portal to Keyboy Graveyard appears in Disney Castle? So my interpretation, and I don't think it's correct, but I always, as a, as a young lad, like, when I only knew about it from final mix and then birth by sleep um i kind of assumed that because there's like a concentration of like time travel energy there because of the um the timeless river door that this is like a portal to 10 years ago you know what i mean like this door takes you to the past so this portal does as well i um, mean you're fighting lingering will as he existed in the graveyard 10 years ago um but i don't know if i mean this isn't even a canon fight right so i don't know is it? It's not, right? Like, Sora doesn't remember any of this happening. Um, so, like, it really doesn't matter that the portal's here. I think I'm also running into the problem that my controller is definitely drifting on the uh, right stick, or the left stick. One of, the, one of them is not doing the right thing. Um, I don't think it is. Uh, I don't even know if the Xemnas one is. I, no, it is, right? Because it's referenced in, like, the opening to, uh... Coded? I think? The recoded opening? Um... I don't, unfortunately. I only have one PS5 controller. I've had it since Christmas of 22. Oh! Oh! A combo! Well, got a little greedy there. Oh, come on, asshole. Oh, I'm cooking, I fear. I fear I'm cooking. This is the farthest I've gotten. I wanted to... I wanted to... Uh, okay. Maybe I should grind for once more second chance. That would take me... Uh, one of those is close-ish. Um, does anyone... I know I had someone look this up last time, or not last time, but several times ago. 
Um, I'm like... I, I picked the sword, right? Um, and so, what is... Because I, I think Second Chance is like in the 90s or 80s. Like, that's just not gonna happen. Um, but I feel like Once More is slightly gettable. It might be like early 50s. Um, no, my feet are fine for now because I've hardly gotten to do anything in this battle. Yeah, Second Chance is in the 80s, so I'm not gonna be getting that. Um, but I could... Man, even early 50s would take forever. 48? Okay. What's a good way to... Man, even that's gonna take a while. Oh, uh, is that even worth it? Well, the, the thing is, I beat the game, and this is where I was after I beat the game. I did... I did every world as well. I did... Because you have to, to get Lingering Will, so... Um, but obviously I wasn't stopping down to fight mobs very often, because that would just fatigue me unnecessarily. So, what should I do? What's up, Jedchan? Should I try to... Um... Grind levels? I mean, if I grind levels, that's gonna be the whole stream, so it's like... Level with my hands? Even at leveling with my hands, though, I feel like that's gonna take... Unless I can cheese it. Um... Let's just try it again and see what happens. Um, experience boost in a world that never was. Um, problem is that I have to... Well, my maxed out save file is on critical, and this is on beginner. Um, I don't have any beginner files where I can get to Lingering Will. I mean, I can try it on critical. Like, what's... <laughs> what do I have better odds with? Level 43 on beginner or level 99 on critical? Because that, those are my only options. I mean, I could try Fenrir Cheese. I've never done it, to be honest. I've actually always done the Lingering Wolf fight legit. Um, so I'm not familiar with the methodology. Well, I don't have Fenrir, is the problem. I have to I have to beat Sephiroth. So that's also out of the question. I got close with Sephiroth. More abilities on crit. That's true. I would have second chance. Fuck it. Let's just give it a try, you know? I guess I'll save here just so we're closer to the portal. Holy hell! Take your fucking time. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get far regardless, but maybe I can get a little farther with uh, Second Chance. Because I will have that on uh, my crit file. Yeah, first try crit. <laughs> I couldn't even do Sephiroth after attempting it with my feet for two hours with my hands on beginner. So, I doubt it. Um... I was actually worse with my hands when I... Like, I was so... I, I learned the language of fighting Sephiroth with my feet that when I went to use my hands just to see if I could afterwards, I did worse. Um, I got, like, slightly into Phase 2. Alright. So, I mean... I could Fenrir cheese on this, this file. Question? Now that we're in a cooldown stage, what's uh, why is Sora jealous of his best friend? Is this a joke? Is this like... <laughs> this feels like a setup to a joke. Or is, are you asking, like, why I think he actually is? Because I don't think he is at this point in the series. It is a joke? Okay, why is Sora jealous of his best friend? Riku... Darkness... <laughs> I, I don't know what the pieces are to this. Why? Why is he jealous of his best friend? Oh boy, you have just no health at all. You just have no health whatsoever. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, doesn't Riku get better grades than Sora, according to the novel? I believe I reported on that. Um, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat here. I want to know. Why is he jealous? Because he's a re-cool dude! <laughs> Say it like re-cool I like, you know, the, the sign of, of a great joke is a parenthetical saying, Okay, just so you know, this is how it, this is how it goes. <laughs> no, I'm busting your balls. That's funny. That's very funny. Fuck. I have, I just have no out here. I mean, again, I could, if, if someone wants to teach me Fenrir strats, um, let me know. Let me know how that works. I just negative combo and then and do it forever. It is camp. No, I like it. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, let me know. Heal. 
Come on, I guarded. I guarded that shit. Oh, I guess I have some negative combo on. Uh, yeah, wherever you're most comfortable reaching out, Twitter, Discord. Um, let me know, though, because I'm not going to get a notification of a Twitter DM. Better Yeah, you really don't get uh, much health at all on crit, even at 99. I can take him again, he said very confidently for some reason. Yeah, take your time. We'll be here. Okay, could you give me a second? Oh, nice! Well, that was a perfect opening that I just squandered. Goofy blocked it. He did it again. Oh, no! You motherfucker! Oh. Okay. I mean, I've yet to get a combo on him on crit. But probably just because I'm not playing well. Well, anyone got any plans for the weekend? <laughs> it's Tuesday, sure, but you know. Oh boy. That's fair. I'm having fun! Um, Lamparita, thanks for the follow. Oh, you motherfucker! Not you, Lamparita. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, sorry. Sorry if I gave you false hope of an incoming weekend. I, uh, I was just trying to think of something to talk about. No, you're good. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Um, it's my fault, really. My fault for being bad at the game. Come on! Like, let me get my bearings. The problem is that I can't reasonably lock on in time. Oh god. Um, yeah, we were kind of talking about that. I, uh, I was into the idea of an untrained Cage 2 speedrun or a Dream Drop Nuzlocke. I just can't move in fast enough. I'm like sitting on a blanket, and I'm gonna move that. Okay. All right. Um, but I wanted to modify the idea that was proposed to me initially. I have not heard from Mr. Plow, thankfully. Um, I don't know where. I think he just shot his shot on. I don't even know if he was a fan of my videos. He just searched Sonic Heroes. He was like, I'm gonna find someone to plow. And uh, like, I doubt he's even a Kingdom Hearts fan. But yeah, I want to modify the Dream Drop Nuzlocke so that it's like, if I die, I lose a Dream Eater. Because the Dream Eater's dying. Oh, you motherfucker, come here! This is it. Why? Why do I have negative combo on? I gotta take that off. Oh no, he's doing arrows. Oh, fuck me. Oh wow, I'm goaded. Sort of fucking... Just get him! Why are my combos like this? What was I doing? Ah. Um. I feel like I keep interrupting my own thoughts. Um. The Dream Eaters very rarely, I feel like, are in peril. And so, um. It needs to be when I die. But also, like, I don't want it to be on crit level 1 again because that was so miserable. I never even finished that playthrough. Maybe just, like, regular crit or proud? Thank you, Jet Chan. Let's see... If I have Fenrir, the strat is to put on Fenrir and negative combo so I do a finisher on every attack. Take off high jump and any air finishers you have if it's on. Dodge one of his attacks where he has an opening. You jump, one attack, land... Oh, man. Yeah, I like the idea of that, but... 
doing that with my feet, I don't know. I mean, if it's just like this, um, I could try that. Take off high jump and the air finishers. Okay. Alright. Regular crit. If their HP goes down to zero, you can't go revive them. Either finish the fight or let them perish. Okay. But taking one away each time you die. Yeah, I just feel like even when we did crit level one, like, I feel like the Dream Eaters probably were in peril under ten times. Is the only thing. I may maybe I'm wrong. I just feel like it didn't happen that often. Um, it needs to be... Because there's you can make a lot of Dream Eaters, right? Like, even if you're not allowed repeats. Um, I feel like... Uh, it's got to be something where I'm definitely more likely to die myself than the Dream Eaters. Alright, so let's think about this. Um, taking off any... Was it any air finishers? And high jump. Alright, so let's get rid of that. Wait, I'm on Valor right now. Nope. God damn it. I wish I could menu with my hands, but I feel like that goes against the spirit. Only use commands gotten from Dream Eaters. Okay. That's another interesting wrinkle. That could be fun. Honestly? Maybe just make that the fucking mainstream. Haven't played Dream Drop in a while. People want me to go back to it. I don't really want to... What am I doing, bro? Um, and then we can make the, the sub-goal... Cage 2 speedrun. We can, you know, we can work out the kinks as we go along on the, uh... There we go. On the Dream Drop Nuzlocke. Alright, do I have any aerial finishers on? I don't think so. No, it looks like I don't. Um... Alright, and then I do want negative combo, which I already have on, and then Fenrir. Um... If I do the Nuzlocke for the sub goal, I could have the people who sub slash gift. Yeah, I like the idea of that as well. Like, if you if you sub or gift or whatever, then you get to have uh, your Dream Eater or your name as a Dream Eater. Um, drunk KHG speedrun stream? Yeah, as soon as I get back on a normal schedule. Once I'm in script mode, I go Goblin Hours. Um, I just take several naps in a day. Uh... God, like, my brain is not working today. Okay. Fenrir. Don't forget to leave me into the room. Yeah. Definitely want a room save. So, every move is explosion. Is that bad? Oh, wait, no, because I'm going to be doing this. Oh, wait, should I take off aerial dodge as well so I don't accidentally do that? Probably. Just go go down. Have I eaten today? Oh, you got me. You got me. What can I say? I'm a silly little man. Fuck! But I woke up at five. Because I was writing until... Uh... 7 a.m.? 6 a.m.? And I slept big. Big sleep. It's actually the biggest sleep I've had in a while. Um, alright. No aerial dodge. That's probably why I can't focus, yeah. Maybe also why my stomach is grumbly. Well, it wasn't like I was up from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. I probably woke up the day prior at, like... 1, 2. Um... It sucks because, like... <laughs> as I explained earlier in the stream, like, I just sit with my laptop all day. Like, like, I never don't have the script open in a tab, regardless of what I'm doing, right? So it's always open, and I'm always just like, it's just there, and I just like, pick away at it. And it's just like, I can think about something for 30 minutes, but only get two sentences out of it, because like, I found the way that I want to phrase that. Very annoying. It's like, I, I spent that whole day doing what I consider writing, but there wasn't that much that came out of it. Okay, wait. Fuck! Yeah, the problem is gonna be getting the <laughs> initial opening. Well, I had something there, but I, I don't think that's... <laughs> I don't know if I can keep it up. Uh, 
Uh, I do not like rough drafts, yeah. Um, which I should. Anyone who's anyone will tell you do a rough draft, but I don't know. I don't. I, I don't do it, and it's worked for me so far. I mean, if people like the scripts, then clearly it's working. Um, like I, I take notes. I do bullet points, but no, I'm not gonna write this twice. I'm not gonna do a shitty version of the video when I can do it once the right the right way. Right, I can't attack right now. Something must be done. Something must be dumb, more like. You know what I'm saying? Two big balls. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a child. Only hope on that is to mash. I still can't attack, so... Probably if I get hit with this, just give up. Um, yeah, that's, and honestly, I have done something like that on Sorbet, where it's like, all right, we'll just figure out how to phrase this later and just come back to this so I don't forget the rest of the point I'm trying to make, but, boom, boom, boom. I wonder if I can pull up my script and, like, give you an example of, like, what I'm talking about. Um, like, I was writing about... There's like some thought that I was like, man, this took forever to get out. Um, I can't think of it. Sorry, this is a waste of time. Um, yeah, no, I feel motivated. I wasn't for like a good week and a half. I just like, I want nothing to do with anything. Um, I literally just wanted to, like, crawl in a hole and play Persona 3 and get the Platinum Trophy. That was, a uh, because I was sad. Um, E. Hess, thank you for the three months. Thank you so much. Um, it was something about Hunchback World and how the world, or how the rooms are designed. Fuck! It's over. Yeah. I just can't make it to him in time, ever. Get him, goof! Fuck. Um, yeah, I remember saying on stream not too long ago that I, I don't know what class it was, but maybe several, I, um, it was like the teacher wanted you to submit a rough draft and the final draft, but like with the final submission, like it wasn't like, okay, give me the rough draft in a week and then the final draft in two weeks. It was like, give me your whole process at the end. So what I did was write the final draft the one time, the first time and then reverse engineer it to be shittier for the rough draft, because that was more appealing of an idea to me. Might be worth taking off the crit ability that lets you do more finishers in a combo. Okay. Alright, I'll do that after this attempt. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to get away in time? Alright, come on. Come on, I was right there, you motherfucker! Fuck. Uh, I'm glad that I'm not the only person who's done that truly harebrained thing. Okay, so I'm taking... So what is the ability? The... The crit ability that lets you do more finishers in a combo. What is that one called? Is it combo... Kazoo time! Oh god, please, yeah, I would love... I would do a kazoo every ten minutes. Um... Auto limit duck flare mash triangle. Maybe I could put duck flare on as well. Um, why can't I think of the name of this fucking ability? Is it a green one? It's a green one. Co is it combo master? Is that what we're talking? Or finisher plus combo? Wait. Yeah, fin finishing plus. Fuck! <laughs> Sorry for yelling. I probably shattered your eardrums. All right. Do I want Combo Master off as well, though, do you think? Because that lets you continue the combo even if you don't hit something. I feel like I wouldn't want that to happen. Or am I wrong? Um, while we think about that, let me do this kazoo. Oh god, how does it start? I feel like I never know how a fucking song starts. 
That's not how it goes. No. This is the this is the worst one I've had so far. I actually can't really think of Oh wow. <laughs> Sophie got it. Yeah, it's circle of life. Uh I can't even think of like I I just can't I can't hit that. It's a very like feeling song unless so like a lyric song, you know? Like there are lyrics, but um I, I don't feel like I really gave you a good performance on that one. Um, I already did Hallelujah, actually. That was uh, on Sonic. I want to do a, a different one because I feel like I did not do that justice at all. Um, okay, this one's easy. Final countdown. I'm not even sure if that was really the song afterwards, towards the end of that. Um, I feel like I'm just uh, not hitting notes like I usually do. Like I'm not. I don't fancy myself uh, a singer or a musician, but I feel like I can generally be, um, you know, in tune there. But those last couple today, I've just been like, I I don't feel good about these. <laughs> uh, all right. So wait, what did we? What was our? Um, do we have any consensus on combo master? I don't think we do. Um, I'll leave it on for now. Uh, it also could be because I woke up recently and I haven't been speaking at all today. Until stream. Um, <clears throat> like, I feel like if I did any of the songs I've already done, I would not be in key at all. Alright, Combo Master's fine. No, I know, but I, like, I would like it to at least sound okay. <laughs> Because I want you guys to be able to guess it. But you were able to guess it even though I fell off on it, so... Um, I guess... I don't know. I... You're right. <laughs> There's no point to having Combo Master off. I blocked that, man! I totally blocked that! I didn't block that. Alright. Fuck, I dropped it. My fucking ankle got stuck on my chair wheel. Well, I had something. Yeah, please do. If you have a pet nearby, please give the pet a pet. And hopefully it'll give me the strength I need. I gotta push my controller further out from my computer chair. All right, let's go again. <laughs> we meet again. Terror wouldn't say that, by the way. He wouldn't say, we meet again, young Keyblade Master. They didn't know how to write him yet. Really, my only true opening, wait. Oh, that was an opening. Oh, you motherfucker! Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Where the fuck is Xehanort? Yeah. Where is he? I promise I just want to show him some stickers. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Bring me the old man. Give me his worthers. Freaking come here. <laughs> Oh. Who's gonna save you, Goofy? <laughs> yeah. God's not gonna save you. God's not here. 
It's just you, me, and the lingering will. If I get my commands locked, I'm just like, alright, next. Next attempt. I hope this is in the spirit of the challenge to not only switch the save file, but to try and cheese him. But then again, I'm using my feet, so I think it balances out. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that at least Callie's happy. Come on, I can't even fucking skip the cutscene! Oh, you fuck! Why? Why would he teleport? You asshole! I fucking hate that Sora's not gonna guard if I'm not... Ugh, I'm facing the wrong way. Oh... Yeah, if you're using your feet to accomplish such a monumental task, I feel like I'm, I'm allowed to be given a break or two. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Cage 2 is the best one, baby. I don't even like that there's an out of context clip of me saying that. Could you give me a fucking break? I can't make it to him in time. Maybe I can't? Fuck! Sora! What was that? <laughs> he just- yeah, even though I have the fucking yellow reticle for lock-on, I'm not gonna swing near him if that's cool with you. Is that good? Is that good? Okay. Sounds good. We meet again, young people. I guess just back up immediately. Fuck me! And then he just takes his sweet fucking time with killing you. Like, what's this? Just kill me! Uh. Well, I beat him legit on stream. Uh, two years ago. Oh no, was it three? Fuck, it's closer to three, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. I've definitely beaten him on my own off stream at least twice. Maybe three times. But I've never done the cheese. This is a first. Fuck, I just, like, I don't have the mobility to get there in time. Like, I do, but I, I can't really use it. Um, I agree. I think Yazora is a much better designed fight. Um, I hate the HP gates with Lingering Will. Because that's what's going to fuck me on even this, is that he's going to hit the HP gate... And do a whip, and it's gonna fuck me up. Like, not only do I need to get this first opening, keep the cheese up, but then I have to survive the gate. Alright, come on. I mean, <laughs> I can't do it much quicker than that, using my feet. <clears throat> Which is obviously no one's fault, it's just the reality of the situation, is that switching my toe from X to circle and being precise and quick enough is just not gonna work, I don't think. I mean, I got it like four times in a row. Oh, really? So if you cheese it correctly, there's no gate? Well, that's good at least. Good to know. <clears throat> Fuck you. Like, come on! How is that not fast enough? You know, there was like, what, a second? If that? Between the hits? 
You got plain pizza, <laughs> T Mac? Just cheese? No, see if you get if you say cheese pizza, that's what you should get. If you said cheese pizza, T Mac, that's what you deserved. Because you didn't you didn't specify you wanted sauce. You said cheese pizza. Fuck you. Fuck you. Thanks, Donald. Feeling zesty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're here. For the 8th annual, or probably at least tri-annual pizza, plain versus cheese discussion. Oh. Can't even get into the fucking portal hole. Um... Nine out of ten comments I get on the highlights from 2022 are about the, the uh, plain cheese debate. Pizza with no sauce is cheese sticks? Huh. Um... He might be onto something. I hate the punch so much. Alright, come on, we're right here. We're right here. Ready? I can't do it. But here's the thing, that's the only way that this gets anywhere, is me trying to cheese it with this. So it's like, you know, what are we doing? Bop, bop. Here's how pizzas work. The type of pizza it is, is dependent on the top layer. If it's just bread, it's just bread. <laughs> if it's bread and sauce, it's sauce pizza. If it's cheese on top, it's cheese pizza. If it's pepperoni on top, it's pepperoni pizza. Then if it's a mix of meats, then it's a meat pizza. It's dependent entirely on what the top layer is. This is something I haven't heard in all of our years of discussion on this. I don't hate it, to be honest. It would mean that what I get is cheese pizza. By that logic. But I'm still not sold entirely. But then deep dish would be called sauce pizza. Uh, uh, yeah, that's tough. I never had deep dish pizza, so... Because I don't want a spoon for my pizza. Um, that's what you wanted to say, but you're on a VOD. That's fun. I'm sorry. I'm, well, I'm glad that you can speak your truth now. Why are we talking about pizza? How'd that, how'd we get here? You started it, Vodka. You had the, uh, Pizza Cutler Beckett. You know, and my controller doesn't work. Because <laughs> I'm not touching it right now. Fuck. Um, it's cheese pizza, not plain. I know most of the country says cheese pizza. Unless it's like a Lunchables or something. There's a second layer of cheese holding the primary toppings together. In a pizza? Yeah. I feel really dumb today. I don't say cheese. I say plain, T-Mac, but I'm saying most of the country says cheese. No, Northeast guys say plain. Vodka's from the Northeast. She says plain. Regular GF and I are both from the Northeast, and we say plain. Um, the Mafia place did not close. It's actually open on not only Fridays, but also Wednesdays now. But I found a new sweet sauce place that I like, that I honestly think I might like better, because this new place is always a hit. Mafia pizza, sometimes it was a mess. So... Yeah, if you're from the West, you say cheese. Honestly, I think if you're not from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, or New York, you're gonna say... Maybe Ohio, maybe... 
Like West Virginia. What I don't know. Is this question? Um Okay, now that this discussion is happening, what kind of drink would you consider a Sprite slash Coke? Soda. Yeah, no, it's it's soda. Uh pop is fine. Calling any soda Coke is psychopath behavior. When you're in New York City, you ask for a cheese pizza? I mean, I don't think I'm doxing to say that, like, Vodka is from New York and she says plain. No, I'm, uh, Pop is adorable, I will say. Chain is a Pop guy. Chain says Pop. Chain was telling us about the Survivor Party thing that he went to. And he was like, and there, there was some Pop out there, and I was like, that's so cute. Thinking of Chain drinking his Pop. I've gotten this three times in a row. We usually say plain pizza. Where are you from, though, if you don't mind me asking? Only Goken. Yeah, Sodi Pop is fun. Um, people won't question if you say cheese pizza, but it's usually called plain. Okay. So you say plain and you're from upstate New York? Or you know you're from New York City? Bow, bow. The city specifically. Yeah, Vodka says regular slice. <laughs> What's up, Radium? How you doing? Good to see you. Margarita pizza? Oh, okay. In Ireland. That's the base pizza? Is the margarita pizza? Uh... Yeah, so I guess Vodka didn't say plain. She says regular. Um, so. That's what I'm saying, Vodka. People are going to hate this VOD. It'll be the worst finale to a, to a stream series ever. Besides Recoded. True, yeah. If you're saying regular slice, I'm going to be in your mind. It's like, God, you're so obsessed with me. Uh, oh, I'm getting kind of bored. <laughs> I'm getting kind of bored. Um, it's like ordering a burger. Do you want a hamburger or a cheeseburger? Yeah, well, if you just say burger... If you just say burger... That's different. <laughs> if you just say burger, it's probably going to be two patties... No, sorry, one patty and two buns. Right? Without any other... I guess, no, because I guess a hamburger. I guess if you said burger, it would just be a hamburger. It's so stupid that there's not ham in there. Um, <laughs> yeah, two patties. I've mitosisized. All right. Can I see if I can even do this with my hands? Just like the strat. Doesn't really matter because I can still refight him if I kill him. Which is what they should have done with Sephiroth, by the way. Or maybe a Sephiroth's absent silhouette. Just something. So you don't need to save a fucking separate file. Let's see if I can do it. Cheese is implied in a burger? I don't know if it is. I'm not, I don't think it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Of course, the time I want to fucking try. Whatever. I, I have my magic locked. Oh, it locks your items too? How about that? If you ask for a burger, most places give you cheese, I think. Yeah, you're probably right. But if you if you went to a place and you said, give me a burger, they would ask you more questions. If you said, where I live, plain pizza, you're not going to get any more questions. You know? If I ordered a burger and didn't have cheese, I'd be livid. <laughs> I'd say cheese needs to be specified for burgers. I feel like the most basic form of hamburger doesn't have cheese on it. That's kind of what I was... Because otherwise, it would be a cheeseburger, right? If you say hamburger, I think... the I mean, a cheeseburger, the main factor is that there's cheese on this burger, right? Otherwise, why say why say cheeseburger at all? You would just say hamburger and assume there'd be cheese. Right? Right? <laughs> 
I can't even fucking make it to him with my hands. God, that is such crazy fucking range. Yeah, when people tell me I want a burger, I go, Get out of here! Honey, call the cops! <laughs> the fact that it's called a cheeseburger implies... Right, it's a modification of a regular burger. Okay, sorry. Right. So you're not saying hamburger, you're saying just burger. <laughs> then yeah, maybe there should be cheese. Fuck off with this, man! How do you even break out of this? I, I never even... I've never had a successful run where I really deal with that. Um, so... Um, not really Omasorbit. I mean, I have less health, but I guess more defense. I'm basically dying in the same amount of time. Right now, I'm just trying to see if I can do the Fenrir cheese with my hands. Which, if I can't even do that, then like, what are we doing here? I might as well refund the guy. Uh... <laughs> you can't even swing your Keyblade. What's up, nachos? I should open regular pizza, regular burger. Just menus of specific questions so no assumptions are made. Yeah. Now, when you want cheese pizza, would you like sauce on that? Yes or no? Um... No, I mean, listen, we got like an hour left. Might as well just see it through. Fucking asshole. Fucking goofy! I swear to god he got in my way! Like, truly, if I can't even do the simplest strategy of, of this fight with my hands, then what hope do we have? Try equipping aerial dot- but like, what's the point? Because if- <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying to do this with the same tools that I have with my feet. But with my hands. Just to see if I can even do it with my hands. Because if I have aerial dodge while using my feet, then I'm not gonna be able to, uh... I'm not gonna be able to avoid pressing it and in uh, pertinent moments. Um, um, what is this? Oh, uh, I just retweeted the pinky thing. I'm not really... Egad, Sora! It's the Heartless! Narf! I don't... I really hardly watched it as a kid. Narf! Egad, Sora! It... Nope. Not very good. Never said pinky was in my repertoire. But I did retweet um, Jim Cummings, um, Bill Farmer, and who's the pinky guy? What's his name? I can't think of his name. Why can't I think of his name? He voices... Oh god, what is it? Isn't he Carl Weezer as well? Rob Paul said, I, was, I wanted to say Paul something. Oh, I missed it with my own hands. <laughs> Eat gads to Betsy. What was what was even that move that he just did? Now I'm just committed to fucking seeing if I can even. Like I dropped the combo, really? Yeah, that's uh, Pee Wee Herman, R.I.P. Oh. Piece of shit.
No! Fucking fucked up my jump. Oh, thanks, Donald. Alright, that's okay. Well, it's doable. I just don't know if I have the dexterity to do it with my feet. But I'm glad I can at least pull it off. I have now cheese lingering well for the first time. So that's at least something we got out of this. Alright, I've accomplished half of what we wanted to do here today. Oh, if I beat him, then is that not my new room save? So I'll start closer to the portal? <laughs> That's at least something as well, less of a walk. It's just, I cannot get over to him. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck me. thought maybe he'd land. Leaf Bracer, save me Leaf Bracer. It does start me here, that's great! <laughs> so, you can cut down on your travel time by just simply beating him, and then you spawn right next to the portal. Alright, I gotta adjust my chair again. Okay, alright, come on, come on! Why? I feel like he's he's doing it so much more often when I'm trying to do it with my feet. Thunder. 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 Look how long Thunder. this would take. Thunder. 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 Oh, well, I got it. Come on, Leaf Racer. Of course you didn't stay for it. Stick around, you fucking loser. I just, I can't, I can't move my feet fast enough. Like, you really need to be so quick with your response time in these fights. All right. What is this I hate question? you so much. I'm put in charge of selecting the cage for world lineup, but I've limited to live action remakes and Disney Channel sitcom sort of movies. Hi, gay Illuminati. Um, okay, limited to live action remakes. I will take. Let's say it's. Let's say it's seven Disney World. So, Alice 2010. Um, I will go. Um, oh man. What else would even be interesting? Just for the Maleficent thing that I referenced earlier, we'll go Maleficent. We'll go Star Wars. We'll go Marvel. That's four. Oh, I really don't want to do Aladdin or Lion King. I don't want to do Cinderella. Um, Charlie and Chocolate Factory is not Disney. Fine, fuck it. Jungle Book live action. Um... Oh, they're not remakes? Oh, they have to, they, they can't be. Let me see the question again. Oh, live action remakes and Disney Channel sitcom slash movies. Okay, so no Star Wars, no Marvel. Well, great. Those are two easy ones. All right. Alice 2010. I don't know if Maleficent counts. I'm counting it. Jungle Book. 
going through the canon in my head. Fuck it, high school musical minigame world. Um, I don't care about Disney TV at all, to be honest. Like, I know everyone's like, Gravity Falls! I don't know what that is, I don't care. Um, what other Disney remakes are there? Let me think. I mean, what are we doing? Like, are we doing this for fun, or are we doing this, like, a legit possible exercise? It's like, sure, Cory in the house, that's a raven. Um, Peter Pan, Pinocchio, neither of those. Maybe... Let me look at the World Watch. I literally can't think of fucking anything right now. World Watch, KH3, live action. Hopefully that gives me what I want. Yep. Alright, so... Yep, nice jingle. Scrubbing through here. Okay, not Mulan. Uh, fuck it, Beauty and the Beast. I think that'd be fine. Um, Christopher Robin. I'm counting that as a remake. I just need one more. Um, damn, Sky High is not a Disney Channel original, is it? It was in theaters. You know what? Fuck it. Dumbo. Dumbo as well. Uh, I was... I had to pick uh, seven KH4 worlds, but I was limited to live-action remakes or Disney Channel originals. <laughs> Fucker! That's like my one chance, and I just... I cannot get there in time. Asshole. Oh, no dog with a blog. No good luck, Charlie. No, uh, sweet life. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen Little Mermaid one, but that could be fun. Although, do we really need it again three times? I just cannot function. Why? I was actually ready that time. Do we? Uh. No, I think it was. I think KH1 and 2 is more than enough. They had two chances, you know? KH1's better than 2's. So they got worse at it. I have no faith that the third one will be any better. Like, I just, I cannot get there. <laughs> uh, I am in charge, actually. I have a direct, direct pipeline to Nomura. I, I don't know why it's a pipeline. I sent him memos through tubes. Like, when you get your... You go to the bank or the pharmacy or whatever. Although I've never done that. I remember as a kid, my mom would go and they'd, they'd send her whatever she wanted through the tube in the drive through I've never done that, though. They still do that? Probably. Fuck! Direct pipe up my ass! That's that's Mr. Plow coded. That's the Mr. Plow talking. Oh, God! Ooh, there should be a world based on those spots that the the child actors did after 9-11. <laughs> the bank tube is so cool, right? And do they do it for pharmacies as well, or am I making that up? Love the bank tube. Mr. Plow comes from uh, Sonic Heroes Part 2. No, 1. Part 1. Um, you got stickers from the tubes? How come I wasn't getting any tube stickers? Why did they make the bank less fun now? Make the bank fun again. I'm voting for whoever has that as their platform. Oh! 
fuck? How is that not fast enough? I'm actually mad. Like, I know it's not fucking lightning fast like I'm using my hands, but like, if that's not fast enough, then I'm cooked. There's no chance. You got lollipop? Oh, wait. I think I did too. I think I did too. Like, the shitty, kind of like, like it's plastic and it's, it's got like the, it's got like the letter on the, uh, it's like it's wrapped like a little plastic thing. It's got a letter on the lollipop part. Not dum-dums. I never got dum-dums. It was like doctor's office lollipops. Uh, uh, I want to go home. <laughs> um, yeah, it would just be Toronto, PJ. Did I say that like a Preminger, Baka? Toronto? No, yeah, I do love May as a summon. I think that would be great. That would be the best way to integrate the world, I would say. Because I'm not super keen on a turning red world. But Toronto. 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 Okay. I'm not saying it doesn't look pretty. I'm just saying I don't know why. Like, what are we doing here? Motherfucker, how come sometimes he stays and sometimes he goes? Uh, bam. Rage Awakened on guitar? That sounds sick. Post a cover. Um, yeah, that'd be fun. Like, if Disney wasn't a bunch of cowards and they let their properties mingle, that'd be a very cool way to do it. I mean, I don't know why they'd be in Quadratum. Doesn't really make sense, I guess, but... I need to, like, learn more, know more about Quadratum before we make any commitments here, you know? ba ba da da ba da ba da ba da Okay. Fuck me. Oh. Why? Why? I dodged it! Fuck you! Piece of shit. Oh, they don't do big mascot characters for Turning Red? That's crazy. So they, they cast real, actual people. Oh, wow. I just... I, I have nothing. I have nothing to add to this situation. Oh. Well, can someone just like distract me for the next 50 minutes? <laughs> so I could contractually complete this obligation that I have no shot in hell at actually doing. Oh. 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 Oh! Oh! No! I don't know Digimon, so I'll say Akumon. Fuck. I need to be locked on, is the problem. Because Sora just like, I'm gonna go over here now! Why? Why would you do that? Why would you think I want to just swipe wildly into nothing? What did Terra say at the altar at his wedding? Um, we're gonna be together through stick and thin. Because of stickers. Why is it called a cheeseburger and not a cheese hamburger? Like, a hamburger doesn't mean a literal slice of ham. That's because it comes from the city of Hamburg, right? Um, that's why. It's annoying. It's frustrating for the English speaker. But I have had it, fellas. I did. I actually retweeted it today, right before stream. Uh, 
Um, because it takes too long to say, probably. The stinking heartless Sora. Oh bother! <laughs> what was it? Oh bother, Sora! The stinking heartless is here again. It's that stinking heartless again. Fuck me! <sighs> Anytime I see the name Sheila, I just think of the kangaroo from Spyro 3. Hiya, Sheila! It's not funny, T Mac! <laughs> One thing I like from each Disney World. Oh boy. I'll be scraping the bottom of the barrel for some of these. No, that's not true. Alright. Give me a Disney World. It'll be easier than just going through. And I'll tell you a thing that I like about it. Oh, no. Halloween Town? I love Oogie's Manor. I love climbing up that fucking thing. I love the boss fight. I love just the general layout of KH1 Halloween Town. Uh, Neverland, um, I love the tension that builds between Sora and Riku there, how it's like the penultimate, well, it's the, it's the final Disney World, but it's like, oh, we're, we're building up to the end here, like, you think the, the finale is Hollow Bastion, this is like, we're literally in a vehicle taking us there, it's just so adventurous, I, I just love the, the tension of that world. Um, the grid... The light cycle is pretty cool. Light cycle is good. I think the light cycle in the grid is better than the Space Paranoids one. Um, fuck! Deep Jungle, love Jungle Slider. Uh, one of the coolest parts of the movie brought to life by the developers. Um, bum, bum. Land of Dragons, oh god. <laughs> um, Storm Rider. Storm Rider is the best part of Land of Dragons. Really cool design, cool boss fight. Interact with the environment to fight it a little bit. Still a boring flat arena. Fuck, how is that not enough for you, you greedy fuck? Enough! Um, Arendelle... Skull is a great heartless boss. Skull is one time where I'm like, okay, we didn't get a Disney boss, but this is probably better. Um, I also think the Labyrinth is pretty cool. Um... And generally, like, the Find Olaf thing, even though it's a little auditorily annoying, is... Any other worlds? I feel like I missed some other people said. Oh, that really breaks my heart. Atlantica 2, I think Under the Sea with Sora and Ariel is really cute. I like it a lot. Um, I'm putting tar charge of Team Rocket. Got to restructure to make it a profitable endeavor. What do I change about the organization? Um, well, I'd probably get rid of the outfits. I think we all need to be plain clothes operatives. Otherwise, we're really kind of outing ourselves. Um, yeah, could you do the worst thing about every Disney World? Because you want to build a snowman in Arendelle. That's the worst. Um, I mean... It 
I guess Team Rocket, they have, like, a gamble, like, the, the game corner is one of their fronts, right? So I guess, like, we need to, like, sink our teeth into more, like, small businesses. Like, I think we need to get an operative in, like, a Poke Center. I mean, that's really what we need to do. We need to infiltrate the Pokemon Center, and then if there's any Pokemon that are staying, you know, overnight because they're in, they're in like, critical condition... We keep them, we let them heal, but then we pawn them off. Um, we just gotta get one person in a Poke Center, you know, because they're all connected through through the PC system, so we could we could send them anywhere, um, like a pizza shop, for example. Yeah, overtake a Poffin store. There's money in Voltorb Flip, yeah. Worst thing about Traverse Town? Probably the progression barrier um, to get Leon to show up. It's just not really communicated that well. Like, I like the idea of the game organically being like, explore, like, go look for your friends, and they're not actually being an objective, and it's just like, hey, the game wants you to take in your surroundings and look around, but... Um, the idea that, like, you either need to kill five shadows, which you probably will, or trigger all of the D&G scenes to, to unlock the criteria for Leon to show up, that's bad. I gotta say, Lingering Will is serving some, some big cavunt today. Worst part about the Caribbean? This is bait. <laughs> it's definitely not the crabs. Unironically, the crabs is one of the best parts. Um, worst thing about Destiny Islands is that you don't get a third day there. You should get at least one more day. Um, I think an extra day to really deepen the Kyrie sora relationship would have been ideal. Um... But then people be like, oh, the tutorial's too long. But I don't know. It's a fun tutorial. Um, worst thing about the final world? I mean, you don't get to spend enough time there either, I think. I think it'd be... I don't know. I think boiling it down to only collecting the Soras is kind of cheap. Like, I wish there was... I don't know. Even if it wasn't, like, a true gameplay segment. Like, something akin to the Microwave Hallway or the, the Friendship Guardian Tornado, where it's, like, gameplay cutscene mingling. Where it's, like, Sora's walking through some long corridor and he hears voices from the past or... You know, even voiced dialogue from some of these stars. I think having a bit more time spent there. I mean, you don't want to overstay your welcome because it's so special and so unique. Fuck me. Um, yeah, something more explorable in the final world. Like, maybe the, you know, the point of it is that it is, like, mostly a desolate star landscape. Um, but, like, even, like, some kind of structure, like, the salt pillar thing to run around in beyond just, like, the turnable, rotatable cube thingy. That'd be cool. Um. If you, uh, if you named a world for best or worst thing, list it again, because I don't want to keep scrolling up. My controller is on the floor, yeah. Fuck. Uh, don't, don't worry about feeling like you're spamming if you're repeating something that I missed, because I don't want to keep scrolling upwards. Another GERD thing I can try? Okay, alright. <laughs> I've actually been okay recently. I've been on Zyrtec because my doctor's like, maybe it's allergies, and I don't know if it's helping or not. I feel like I still get GERDed fairly frequently, but I feel like back in like February, March, it was especially bad. Um, best part of 100 Acre Wood? Um, can you give me a specific iteration of it? Like one, two, or three? How is that not blocked? 
fuck you. I hate the punch so much. Worst thing about the Pride Lands is probably how it fucking looks. I totally... What?! You fucking asshole! Um, I get that it, like, takes place during Scar's reign, but then the second visit doesn't, right? So fucking lush it up a bit. Simba and Nala had enough time to fuck without protection to... to conceive Nala. Or not Nala, Kiara. So it's like, surely enough time has passed for some fucking trees and greenery to grow around here. It's just laziness, you know? Wow, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> oh, wait! No, I can't make it. Get him, goof. Never mind, he felt like teleporting that time. I don't even mind the Heartless. I think they're themed well to the world. I think they're unique. I think the the shaman guy riding on top of the living bone, that's neat. Um, I think the ground shaker's great. I think Scar's integration into the world is, is very lackluster, but I wouldn't say it's the worst thing. I think just, like, the visual dullness of such a bright, grand, colorful movie. Like, you know, chalk pick for my favorite Disney movie, and it was just, like, a, a total fucking bore. Lion Sword is cool. I don't even mind the control change for that. I think it's neat. Um, best part of Witch Atlantica. Bam. I don't even mind Scar's Ghost. I'm not saying it's compelling uh, compelling storytelling, but I, I don't mind it. You know, it's, it's inoffensive enough. Um... Yeah, I agree. More more of that, not just one of them following you in the savanna. KH1 Atlantica is a bit of a broken record in terms of my commentary on it recently-ish, but I think that being a world that really sort of pushes the player to use their magic more efficiently and more thoughtfully is really neat. Um... The game drops many subtle hints that that's what you should be doing. So there's that. Oh. What are we doing? What are we doing here? We're in the home stretch. It's very funny when we use explosion. I disagree. I think maybe I should take it off just because it pisses me off. Um, I am not. No. Because on beginner, I'm level 43. Unfortunately, this is critical on level 99. Um, every single KH1 world, I doubt you got lost in Olympus Coliseum, bucko. Oop. Moving on its own. Um, I don't think I got lost in Halloween Town. Um, definitely didn't get lost. I don't really think I got lost in Agrabah either. Um, or Traverse Town. I don't think it's easy to get lost there. Or Destiny Islands. I could see the other ones, though. I could see getting lost in Deep Jungle. Um, I could actually see getting lost in Neverland, but it's probably small enough that it's you're just likely to find where you need to go by accident. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> you missed uh, Phil telling you about the box. But surely if you go talk to him again, he'll tell you to do it, right? Or no? I guess, yeah, if you don't know where the mini keyholes are in Agrabah, that could be a problem. He's serving Kavunt! He just tells you there's cleaning to do? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> it, should, it should definitely give you a reminder in case you accidentally mash through the cutscene. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I guess you can get lost in Olympus. More like progression barriered. Um, my honest guess is something new. I don't think it's going to be gummy ship. I don't think it's going to be a dive. But I think it will air closer to a dive. I think my order of operations would be... Something new, no travel, straight up a dive again, straight up gummy ship again. 
I just, I mean, maybe Gummy Ship is the most likely, and it's like, hey, there's been three main games with the Gummy Ship travel system. Obviously, Cage 4 will do that as well, but, like, the way that things are set up right now, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, so. I think all of those things are possibilities. I think straight up, like, doing dives again is probably the least likely overall, actually. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh, if I was locked on, because I so much of my fucking brain power was was concentrated on the left stick and making sure I was facing the right way. <sighs> See if I can get him back in it. I guess it wasn't explosion. It was that I dropped the combo. Oh, you mean explosion started it, though, if that's what you mean, yeah. That's what I should do, is not worry about my... If my initial hit is explosion, that pops him up in the air, and I can still start the combo. Because I'm wasting so much time trying to get over to him, and then do a jump again, and then swing. Whereas if I just get to him using, like, a quick slide and let out an explosion, then I actually have the ability to pop him up in the air, and then try to set things up. What I really need to do is fucking be locked on when that starts. It's just difficult, because he's zipping around so much. See, like, I took the time to lock on in the middle of that, and I, I, y it's not enough time to get your hit again. This is critical. It's not what I did the whole playthrough on, um, but I had to switch to this so I actually had abilities. Because I beat the game at level 43. <clears throat> bow, bow. Cock. I hate the punch. I think there's so many bad moves, but that might be my least favorite. Oh, I made it so far that time. Oh, come on! Come on! Maybe if I had sliding dash on? I'm gonna put that on, because I need a move that, like, closes distance. Oh, but then I'm going to lose my awesome room save. Because I... Oh, I have to, though. Uh, where is it? Slide dash. Put that on and maybe explosion what off. This question? Any plans to return to level 1 DDD? No. <laughs> I mean, I do, but not really. <laughs> like, I should, but I'm not gonna. Sliding dash isn't a finisher. Fuck! Ugh, God! But I need... Ugh, damn it. I need to close the distance. Um, Water Hazard, thank you so much for the seven money. Good luck on Lingering Will. We all believe in you. And <laughs> thanks for doing this, even though I can tell I'm not having the best time. You're correct. You got a great read on me. Uh, thank you so much, Water Hazard. I appreciate that. Um, 
who's we all? <laughs> all right, so sliding. That's for sure out. I just damn it. Well, at least I don't lose my room save. I'm telling you, folks, it's not going to happen today. As soon as clock strikes nine, I've I've fulfilled my end of the bargain and I'm done. But I I will try until then. Puff of copium, yeah. Breathe it in. Fuck me. Yeah, lights out. Lights the fuck out at 9. <laughs> That's a promise. I don't know, and I feel bad because it was, like, so early in the playthrough that it's not fresh in my memory. Um, I'm giving up tonight. This is, this is the end of KH2 foot percent. Just, I can't get to him in time still! I hate you so much. Oh, you asshole! Yeah, people are going to be getting good points today. Because, again, what is what is the actual prediction? Pick the time we beat Lee Grimmel. <laughs> yeah, not today and not ever. Good call. <laughs> that is the easiest way to make free presto points. Is to pick seven on this poll. <laughs> you said I'd win by 8.30? Well, my desktop says 8.30. Um, yeah. There were a lot of free pulls on Command Board night. I miss Command Board. Honestly, I'm not even just saying that. I legit want to play it. I just don't have a reason to right now. I don't have any reason beyond satisfying the urge. Maybe that's enough, but I don't know. Um, is it now I'm supposed to redeem Kazoo? You could if you want. Cost 10,000. It's peak. Well, I'm glad people liked the command board stream. I thought it would be boring. You're right, T Mac. Time that you enjoy wasting isn't wasted time, right? Isn't that a thing? Something like that. Jet Chan hates the command board. Yeah, sorry, Water Hazard. Sorry to fail you. Ooh. No! 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 Fuck! Fuck you! What the fuck? No! Fuck! I missed circle! Goofy, you're supposed to beat my shield! <sighs> that was my best one. That was my best one by far. I had it going and I got it going again for a little bit. 
Should I take Explosion off? I don't know. You motherfucker! Ah! God, I love how he just warps space-time to fuck up my HUD every time he kills me. And my controller, it doesn't help at all that it's just drifting. Probably doesn't help that I'm, uh, using my feet on it all the time. Yeah, you're right. You don't know how he's gonna open, so you wanna get away, because if he does the punch, that's- you're at one health. If he does the fucking cannon, he's gonna blast you away. Ah! Ah! Fuck a question. Oh god. Espio and Cream. Why not? Fuck you. Bam, Two knuckles. Knuckles twice. Bam, bam. Remember when Sonic killed himself because he didn't want to marry Amy? That's canon in my playthrough. What were you doing with this thing? Playing with your feet? Uh, um, <laughs> sweats. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Back off! Keep my jumps going. My jumps keep dropping. Oh, Froggy. They're yeah, gonna be Froggy and Chocola. Chocola! Where's Chocola? The explosion just takes so fucking long to come out. Ah, uh, 99, critical 99, yeah. What is this question? Um, another Coliseum type world. Who would I like to see as an opponent most? Jet from Final Fantasy X. And Professor Radigan. I want to, I want to hit him. Alright, everyone shut up. No! Never mind, everyone talk. Fucked up the first combo. I think Mickey as a friendly spar, that would be awesome. The, the Horned King, Radigan, Shere Khan. I want, I want to fight the fucking rogues gallery, you know? Darth Vader. Kefka. Motherfucker. Do you know that that punch move actually breaks you out of lock-on as well? Like, it just denies your lock-on. If you're locked on to him and he does that move, you're not locked on after it's done. He just breaks it. He doesn't want you to be locked on. Ooh, Phil. Yeah. Ultra Instinct Phil. My fucking guard just never comes out fast enough. Because I'm trying to hit it with my pudgy fucking toe. All right. We're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. Bop, 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 bop. We meet again, young.
Ah! No! Fuck you! Fuck! Fuck me! Why? Why? I'm doing the same exact fucking thing. Oh. No! No! What the fuck was that? Sword? That fucking uppercut move! That sucked! You suck! <laughs> oh, I sorry, I screamed. It's over. It's over. I got really mad there. Like that was actually me being mad. Which I shouldn't be. This is so ridiculous, you know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I have thrown a series of mild tantrums today, and I think they're fully justified, because this is just infuriating. And absurd. I just wish I could fucking reach him! I can't reach! Ever! <laughs> I am not going to 11. I have... I have a life to have after this. I have a script to write. I was gonna say I have a family to feed, which I don't. But, you know. Of course, the time I am able to start the loop, I have the fucking magic lock. And it breaks your fucking lock on! Family. Yeah, I gotta feed my family content. You're right, you're right. I gotta be more Vin Diesel about this, you know? Family. Save me, Kazoo!
you go, another Disney. I actually know the song on the hard side of that card as well, so I'll keep that at the top. Except now I know what it's going to be, so I guess that kind of gets rid of some of the suspense. Um, I was harmonizing with the little Sebastian that lives in my head. He's always pinching my brainstem, making me angry. Under the Lark Scene's Demise. Not quite. That was my best run, by the way. Well, at least with this, I have the option of cheesing. With crit level 1, I didn't, so this is actually probably better. I'm closer now at hour 2 of this than I was at hour 9 of crit level 1, to put it into perspective. Oh wait, I should just get myself killed. A little Sebastian, yeah. You don't? Bow, 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 bow. Not the mini horse, the little crab man. And he's always saying to me, don't do the voice. Do not do the voice. You can't, you're not, you cannot do it. And I, I'm like, all right, I won't. I'll, I'll use Clayton to voice you. Hell yeah. Good start. Great start. Cool, very cool. Come here, you motherfucker. What? What? Lipstick in my Valentino Keyblade bag! How did I not get that second hit? 15 minutes. <laughs> Listen, I love my job, right? I I wake up every day grateful that I get to do what I do. But clock strikes nine, I am fucking outy. <laughs> I am out. Lights out. That's right. Nine o'clock on the fucking dot. <laughs> this is torture. It is. It's getting past my bedtime. I've been up for almost, what, four hours? I'm getting Ajita as well. Right there. Um, I don't get cramps per se, Ice Tray, but I get, like, fatigue. I never cramped up while doing this, but I've definitely felt like, oh man, it's unpleasant to keep going. This I've actually felt physically okay, it's just mentally and emotionally I'm strained. Um, I think because I'm not really doing that much crazy shit right now, I'm just trying to get that combo, that loop going. Also helps that I have my air in and I'm not like temperature-wise very... Um, uncomfortable. Uh, if anything, I'm, uh, I think I'm working out my feet, you know? I think I should be... And maybe it's bad. Maybe if I keep curling them around my tr the trigger button, that will give me foot arth arthritis. Girded twice in a sentence. That's a new record. A shitty poorly drawn meme! Gimme, 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 gimme! Give it to me! Give me the child! <laughs> no! I highlighted the message! I have not played Asura's Wrath. Um, no offense, I don't agree that it would make a good thing to play on stream, because if I don't know it, then my audience base of Kingdom Hearts fans aren't going to know it either. 
but I have heard of it. I think. Asura? That sounds familiar. Oh! No! Keep going, keep going. Fuck! Why? Why? What is wrong with me? Uh, let's see... <laughs> so good. Leaf Racer, save me. Save me, Leaf Racer. That's such a cute drawing. Let me, uh, let me get this pulled up. Share with the class. Going over the PC source. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> there you go. Bioma Sorbet. Leaf Bracer, save me. Leaf Bracer, save me, Leaf Bracer. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. Uh, thank you for that, Oma Sorbet. That's amazing. <laughs> At least something positive came out of this. Alright. Back to this. <laughs> Only ten more minutes. Ten more minutes of pain. And then it's lights out! Fuck! Well, that attempt's gone. And I mean it! <laughs> That's right. I'm glad that some of you are on board. Lights out! <laughs> Usually people are like, we want more content. The the sane amongst you are like, nah, this sucks. <laughs> it's, it's gotta end. <laughs> but mom, again? I'll tell you this right now. If someone donates $200, I will stay up until 11 doing it. Genuinely trying. But you gotta do it within the next 10 minutes. It's a limited offer. So. Go until 901. Listen, how about for. <laughs> how, how do I squeeze money out of people? Um, for every dollar, another minute. You know? No, no. For every dollar. <laughs> gotta think about this. Yeah, no. Every dollar, another minute. I think that's. Let me think, is that, is that worthwhile? Is $60 worth another hour? It would be, it would be. Yeah. Limited time offer though. Fuck. $1, one attempt. Hmm. No, it's more financially. I don't actually want anyone to do this, so <laughs> please don't, I, I, I wanna be done. <laughs> I wanna be done. Oh, heavens to fuck. Heavens, you fuck. I know sometimes it seems like I'm just standing here, you know? Like, I'm just, like, standing there waiting for it. But I am trying to block. Like, I am trying to get my big toe on square. But sometimes it just looks like I crave death. I'm not throwing. I'm actually trying. What the fuck? You motherfucker, would you like to take a break? Oh, now? After two? Fucking asshole. It took too long. Asshole.
the window is so small. Like, when you're using your hands, obviously it's really not, but... I just cannot fucking make it happen. Even happening, bro. What are we doing? Thanks, Tom. I'm not taking that long, man. What the fuck is going on? But I did everything you said. I followed all the rules. Like, I really could have done it. I really could have done it. Fuck. I was able to get back into that, like, four or five times. I fell out of it, and I got back into it. I think I had, like, not that many bars left. I had, like, the god pattern in terms of what a taxi was doing. And like getting over there in that fucking rock face, that was huge. Like for some reason that like really confused him. Uh no, I, I absolutely could do Like, it is doable. Like, I know in my heart of hearts that I c it can be done, especially after that attempt. But it also was, like, the stars aligned to give me... It wasn't like I was playing especially better. I just had, like, a good setup of randomized factors. Like, him never doing this shit. Like, he's doing that shit in this... Because his, his moves change every time you fight him. Or, like, what pattern he uses. Sucks to drop the combo after keeping it up for so long. Alright, listen, it's 9.57 on my desktop, so... Well, alright. 
<laughs> Sounds like that's probably it. Hate to go out on one of these. Listen, my my desktop is like a minute behind 858 for me, so. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. One hour might kill me. What sucks is like when I was when I got him in the loop and I was going from circle to X, I started to really feel it in my thigh. Because I'm just like so tense. Because I I have to keep my legs still, like still enough that I'm not drifting. It's over. The fact that that is not good enough. I hate that fucking upward swipe. Lights out. Lights out. Alright, I'll be back on Thursday at 6. Don't know what we're doing. Could be a uh, dream drop nuzlocke. Uh, we'll see, but thanks for hanging out. Love yous. Be safe, be kind, be courteous. Have a good one. Bye!